Howdy fellow cats, welcome back to another video. Today we are playing SCP Roleplay once again, and today I have been invited to join the Marshall Carter and Dave Asset Acquisition Department faction in a raiding Best's Serious Roleplay group server thing, and it's sort of a breach event. And oh man, do we look good. By the way, the abbreviation for this is MC and D, so I'm going to be calling them MC and D for Marshall Carter and Dave. But that is what we will be doing today. We will be helping MC and D raid in an SCP breach event inside of Best's SCP Serious Roleplay group as well. Hopefully I will remember to put both Best's and MC and D's factions in the description of this video down below, so if you want to check out both of them, go ahead and do so down there. After standing in this line, I just realized as well that I have a gas mask and that the higher ranks have these, like, I don't know what they're called, but they have like a ballistic mask sort of thing, and I think that's so sick. Wait, we also get different, uh... It looks like we also get somewhat of different morphs as well. Welcome contractors to this company raid. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is pretty hype. I'm excited. I'm liking this a lot. We have received intel that sabotage will lead to a breach today. By the way, also you guys may not be hearing a ton of game audio in this video because of best serious roleplay using a lot of audio assets that were probably made by both Best and taken from the internet and stuff like that. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't contacted Best about what audio assets are being played or used right now, so out of fear for any sort of copyright infringement issues or, you know, any anything that will make me be able to be demonetized, I, I will probably more than likely be muting the game audio for a majority of this video. I did not read what he just said, so I hope that you guys did, because I, I unfortunately missed that. Honestly, I'm humbly surprised. I think this is probably one of the most attractive looking, like, factions I've seen like I'm sorry, but I'm a I'm a sucker when it for when it comes to like classy looking and like yeah, suits and fedoras gosh I I am a sucker for it our target is the asset SCP-457 just like the last time I'm really digging this I'm really digging this I hope that I didn't miss a, a huge piece of information like a second ago where I didn't miss that small piece of information I hope that I'm not missing something significantly right now. I shouldn't need to remind you that last time you screwed this up about as badly as you could. Oh no. Did they mess up the last time that they did this sort of event? That's terrible. Oh no. It's understandable though. Sometimes when you have operations, they do not go great. And it sounds like this is a whole big operation to somehow successfully obtain 457 and acquire 457 to say the least. I expect better performance this time around. I will be dividing you into two teams. Team one will go with red, which is the person behind Riley over there. Your objective is to shut down facility power. Team two will be with me. We're heading to SCP-457's chamber. They will be performing regular camera sweeps. If you are spotted, it will be docked from your pay. No, <laughs> no, I need to feed my family. Not like this. Hide behind crates, racks, shelves, and other obstacles to avoid being spotted. Okay, I think I can do that. I'm trying to think of ways now to stay hidden. Their personnel are also watching the halls. Avoid being spotted. Their personnel will raise the alarm on you. I get the feeling that this entire operation is going to be a bust because of the Nicomancer. Because you see, I'm loud and proud. And I don't know if I'm actually capable of being all that sneaky. But you know what? I must use one of my nine lives as a cat to hopefully succeed in this operation here. Lethal force is authorized but discouraged. It tends to deter their business in the future. The Chaos Insurgency and the Class D Foundation personnel are secondary to our objective, but if you utilize them properly, they are useful tools. Utilize them however you see fit. If you're a commander, you are in charge of yourself. I expect you to make calls when you do. Am I clear on all these points? Oh man. I'll, I will proudly say yes sir, because I'm excited. I am hyped. We're gonna go through. We're gonna get 457, we're gonna get out, we're gonna acquire it all, and bam, done. We're doing a silent assassin game in here. I never would have thought to be sneaky in SCP roleplay, except for in hide and seek events, and now it's like I actually have to hide and seek with people in serious factions that do this like seriously, so it's, it is wild to, to think that we're about to go and do this, and it's, it's gonna be fun, it sounds fun, I'm excited. Only in Banjo, you'll be with Red hitting the Transformer Room. Oh, so they do get assigned to the teams to do certain tasks and stuff, that's awesome. Now it's on the radio when you have cut the power. Ooh, they're gonna cut out the power? That would be so sick. Well, I'm really fascinated by it as well, is that there is two communities here at work. Yet, yeah, we have the MCND, led by Riley, and we have the Bests at Serious Roleplay, which is right next to Riley. And it's just awesome. I love the idea that there is literally two communities combined together to make this thing happen. That's fascinating. It will be a breach event as well, and since SCP-079 will take over, he will automatically cut the power. 
Ah, uh, even better. Ooh. Okay. So there's going to be an SCP that takes over because of a breach event. And it will take out the power. So that means we won't, We might have the majority, if not all, of MC and D going to 457. I'm sorry, but I just can't get over the way we look. We look so good. Look at this. Like, if you just get a side view. Oh, my lord. You get, you get this other side view. Oh, my goodness. I can't. I can't. Don't forget, everybody, that I'm going to be leaving the faction links that they want me to share with you guys in the description of this video as well. So make sure you guys go check them out. With that knowledge, Red's team will be doing something a little different. Your duty is the extraction of any Class D Foundation personnel to the gate b helipad the chaos insurgency has requested extra hands they will be useful assets only in banjo please get behind red the rest of you will be with me you got it sir red take your team out into the hallway and start planning out your approach thanks to the insurgency we will be inserting through these vents i'm surprised that the mc and d doesn't have even more people like this is so sick all right would anyone like to propose an idea for our approach um well if we're trying to be hidden um i'm thinking there's no fast way 2457 that's that's what's going through my head right now in my mind i would probably go through a 002 to be more silent the 002 vent and then i would go towards like the sector one area go past the crystals in the bathtub over there but then again if 173 is having a test right now that's probably not the best way and we more than likely want to go as fast as possible because it's like, I, I don't know. I guess the other plan that I can think of is, is going through the 002 vent and then going towards the shelter area and then going straight to sector three as fast as possible. That's also an option. But if we're trying to be secret and hidden and quiet and all that as well, I just feel like it's going to be really difficult. Our objective is sector three. However, insertion via the C4 events is loud and gives us away far too easily. That's what I'm thinking. I like, I see we're, we're on the same wavelength right now. We will have to insert through one of the other vent exits and make our way to sector three insertion through the 002 vent seems most efficient does anyone have any objections i was thinking of the same thing 002 insertion but after the 002 insertion that's kind of where like i was getting you know caught up a little bit because it's like there's two ways to go to sector three from there that i can see one of them is a long way and one of them is the shorter and faster way but both seem pretty dangerous but also if we're trying to be sneaky the longer way is even more dangerous in my opinion. Very well, we will proceed by the CDC to Sector 3. They will likely have it guarded by mobile task force personnel. Be prepared for a firefight. With luck, SCP-457 will still be there. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready, sir. I'm ready. I got, we got this in the bag. We're gonna go get 457. It's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. If it is not, we will regroup with Team 1 back here and make our way to the Transformer Room. From there, we can gain access to site cameras. Hopefully, I can use it to locate 457. There you go. There you go. I like this. Everyone clear on that? Yes, sir. You already know i'm clear if nobody else has any additions all we're waiting on is for ci sabotage to take effect and it seems it will be happening soon all agents into positions Ooh, on me well with that we have finally begun the breach event 173 has just seemed to have breached its containment blackout Ooh, i like stand by for the cooldown we need to let them draw attention anyways all right we're following my squad lead here it looks like we are a-ok -okay for the time being all right it looks like we just took out one of the mtf that was guarding sector three Ah, there it is, 457, our target. All right, well, it looks like we have our hands on 457. It's perfect. I just realized I actually had a cinematic mode on that entire time. That looked actually really sick, though. <laughs> oh, man. We have a team trying to extract 457 to the helipad, assist them. All right, it looks like we are going to be bringing 457 with us to the helipad. This is actually really sick. I'm really digging this. All right, it seems like we are A-OK. -okay. Here's some gunfire going on, though. All right, well, it looks like we took out some good old MTF right there. And we're going to keep on moving. Oh, it looks like we met up with CI and our other friendlies here. Get to the helipad. All right, let's go. It. Let's get it. All right, pushing forward into sector one. Let's just keep it moving. We're almost at the helipad. That's all it, ma that's all it takes. That's all that matters right now. All right, it looks like there was an MTF over there, but we need the 457. No, I'm going down. No. 457 got stuck. 
Oh no! Unfortunately, the 457 was attracted to someone in ISD. Oh man. 457 was like, I want to go into ISD spawn. Tough luck, man. Tough luck. All right, looks like we're about to be inserted into the helipad. Uh, fight back for it. All right, well, we have the helipad secured. However, that does not mean that we necessarily have 457. All right, time to retrieve the asset. We need to acquire this. We are on the acquisition squad anyways for a reason. Problem is, is where is 457? I've never seen so many dudes storm a place. <laughs> oh, what just happened? The lights are back on and everything. Back to CI spawn. What? All agents stand down. Okay, well, I don't know if we won or lost this. Uh, I can't really tell, but it said that we extracted. I got proof that all of you, including Riley, broke a rule. What? I broke a rule? Ah. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. I hope that this was overall an enjoyable time. I actually don't know what ended up happening at the end here. I'm not too familiar with best serious roleplay community and i'm not too familiar with mcnd i just wanted to accompany them to make a video on factions within scp roleplay and they were doing a combined effort to this event here so i don't know exactly if mcnd won or lost it's hard to tell for me personally uh i would have probably assume that it was a loss because there was some sort of little scuffle or disagreement at the end there because there was an audio played about a gate being locked down, but there was no announcement made, and it kind of led to the bad guys not knowing to roleplay a gate being locked down, and the good guys knew about this gate being locked down. So ultimately, I don't know what the conclusion was to that. I'm not going to delve deep into it, but ultimately, I had a lot of fun uh, both participating with MCND and within Best's Serious Roleplay Community. It was a very, very, very fun and enjoyable time, and I I really had a great time. A really genuine great time. If you guys want to see more content like this one, you guys can leave a like or a comment down below. If you guys want to see more content from me in general, you guys can subscribe. I guess I'll do an outro while I'm also in their STS. But, uh, <laughs> but um, don't forget to join my Roblox group and community Discord server in the description below. Don't forget to check out the factions media or whatever they want me to put in the description down there below to if you want to join them or check them out. Also, don't forget to do the same for best serious roleplay community. Just keep in mind that it is supposed to be serious. So there are a lot more rules into it than a normal SCP roleplay video game sort of thing. You know what I mean? So keep that in mind. Huge thank you to all my San Nikos out there. You guys mean the world to me. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!